everybody, I'm Starlord and today I'm going to be showing you guys how the quickest way to make money in Pokemon Brick Bronze is for those of you who are really eyeing up those very expensive new apartments in the apartments update. Uh, before we get into the video guys, don't forget to leave a like as it does help me out and definitely subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so that you don't miss a video. Uh, but anyway guys, here we are in the game right now and as you can see, uh, this is the golden Pokeball. This is where the most expensive house is, that is 750 D poke poke dollars the dollars the poke dollars any kind of dollars whatever dollars you have poke dollars uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we have a high level team preferably in the 80s and uh, we're then gonna go over to a radius city guys so just go over and fly there right now and uh, what I would say is make sure that you have some max repels also and make sure that you probably have a Charizard I think Charizard is the best Pokemon to use in this area. Hello, dude. Hello. How do you do there little egg face? Uh, but anyway, once we're here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be looking out for a specific NPC to battle. And uh, I know that a lot of people already know about this because, you know, you guys have probably been playing this game way longer than even I have. But I know that there is new players to Pokemon Brick Bonds and they probably don't know where the best place is to find and get money is. Uh, so I thought that I would actually do this video as it is kind of relevant now, you know. Uh, but anyway, once we're here in this next route where you just follow me from, uh, we're going to go in and uh, we kind of need our hoverboard to get across this a little bit quicker. But we also need to have a max repair. So just use that right there and uh, what I'm gonna do right now after I do that is get on top of what the heck is going on there you go Okay, uh, so we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna fly this way or you know hover this way We're gonna skip past these people who you've hopefully already battled and there should be this dude right here next to this little cactus uh, And this dude his name is Darren here. He is right here. I'm kind of spitting at my mic right now. I'm sorry <laughs> Uh, but here he is. Hello, Darren. How do you do? Um, and basically, Darren is probably the easiest person to make money from because he only has three Pokemon that you can battle very easily and kill. But not only that, he gives out a lot of uh, a lot of money and a lot of XP too. He doesn't give that much uh, XP, but he gives a lot more money than regular NPCs. Uh, so what you're gonna do, guys, is you're gonna need to go and battle him, and um, it's very easy, honestly. It's so quick to battle this dude. I battle him. In like, I think it's like a minute or something like that. Maybe even less than that. Um, but either way, he's very easy to battle. And uh, yeah. Okay, so sorry. My recording actually messed up there, guys. Uh, but what I'm going to do right now is uh, we've just battled him. And if you take note to the bottom of the screen right now, you will see how much he gives me when we defeat him. And it says he uh, we received 2,760 money for just defeating three of his Pokemon. That is very good for a very quick battle. Uh, but once you've battled him, the best thing about this is if we go up here towards these stairs uh, and we have a Pokemon that has Rock uh, Smash, we can actually go inside this cave right here, uh, which is the Unknown Cave, actually. Uh, so what we're going to do is just run away from this dweeble, you little dweeb. How are you doing here, man? Um, okay, so you will encounter most likely, even though you have your max repels on, you most likely will encounter Pokemon when you actually crack those rocks open because it doesn't have an effect on them uh, so yeah that can kind of get an a bit annoying and slow it down a little bit but if we go inside the unknown cave like I just said uh, just take a second and then walk straight back out um, basically that player will uh, he'll reset so that you can just go over to him and keep on battle him once again. It's so simple to do. Uh, but like I said, the only thing that like kind of slows you down is whether like you encounter Pokemon in this little rock thing. Other than that, just put a Max Repel on if you're ever going to go through the sand area. And you're pretty much done. All you got to do is keep on battling this dude. Um, and like I said, like it took me like, let's see, it took me around about a minute or two to battle him. So I'm going to say a minute 30. Um, so that's like 2,000. Uh, th nearly 3,000 poker dollars every minute and a half, which is a lot of money. That is insane amount of money, actually. Um, so I would say definitely go and do this, guys, if you are wanting to get more money. Uh, rather than just battling random people or anything like that, go to Rising Star Darren and just battle him. It's so simple to do. It's basically how I got my uh, first like 100k in poker dollars and it was so simple to do. And while you're here, you can even EV train a specific stat. I don't remember what it is, 
but it helped you out, guys. Honest to God. Uh, but anyway, guys, I do hope that you, you enjoyed this guide. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And uh, I really hope that you guys get a lot of money from this. And uh, if you don't already, or your, your friends don't already know, go and tell them about it, guys. Because I'm sure they would find this guide very, very helpful. Uh, so anyway, until next time, guys, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.